welcome to another photoshop tutorial brought to you by the network king and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to make a cool code button test tap thingy now this it is an animation and i have already done a tutorial on animation so i'm not going to do it again but this is what the result we're going to get i'm just going to minimize it go to file new and one zero two four into seven sixty eight and we're going to fill it with black color and uh, now we're going to now we're going to do is what uh, is we are going to write a text I'm going to write code breaking and white color A O G A B R E A K I N G and I'm going to write this in font impact and there we have it our uh, impact and there we have it now we're going to write or should I say make the background and to do that we're going to open notepad from our tools so, uh, I mean to say the windows start menu I'm just going to zoom in just wait now as you can see I'm going to go in or uh, maybe uh, I'm just going to open it okay so I'm going to open notepad from my windows start menu Sorry for that. Notepad, and here I'm going to go to File and select Open. I'm just going to open any type of image file. Try opening an image file. Change this to All Files, and I'm going. I have an image file right above. Or maybe down no there zero zero one full and I'm going to double click it. It's gonna take some time. So now we have this uh weird type of writing which is double displays the image from in the line with the computer and we're just going to select a nice area till here. I'm going to right click over here and select copy. I'm just going to close this and in our Photoshop document I'm going to right click over horizontal tab tool right click and choose vertical tab tool and I'm going to make a rectangle of, a, of about this size and there we have it I'm just going to reduce the font size to about 10 pixels or pt and then I'm going to sorry for that I just I'm just going to move my animation bar towards the top and horizontal tab to start from out of the canvas and and out of the canvas as you can see I have some edges out and same as here I have some edges out and now I'm going to reduce the size to 9 pt and I'm just going to go to edit and paste and there we have our text oh forgot to do one thing control z to font undoing and I'm going to change the color to a dark green and now I'm going to go to edit and paste and now we have a background I'm just going to bring this layer back 
and um, now we're going to copy this layer first we're going to rasterize the area right click and choose rasterize type and click and drag over the new layers icon there we have a copy I'm going to move it over here and uh, I'm going to make another copy click and drag over new layer icon and move towards here now we're going to go for the animation but first we're going to add one more thing a layer style on the code breaking which is this text it didn't code breaking I've already chosen the layer going to go to layer style and choose outer glow and I'm going to change the color to a bright green and and I'm going to yeah, increase the size and I think the settings will be okay your settings will be different from mine depending on the image quality, image size etc and the font you're using so don't use the exact settings photoshop is a playground and you have to just play with the settings so now we're going to go with the animation so don't see your animation bar go to windows and select animation and i'm going to make a new layer first of all i'm going to uh, invisible it the text effect and I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to move this layer towards down and this layer towards up and I'm going to turn on outer glow so now I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to cut off the outer glow and in this layer I'm going to bring this up this one down and this layer towards up or oh, maybe towards down maybe it was up and we have it here now I'm going to tween the layers I'm going to previous frame 5 and again tween 5 and now we have our animation now the background's moving the code breaking shine the text is shining it looks kinda cool so you can use it in type of advertisement etc so this is it for today don't forget to send me any type of photoshop request and uh, on my email address south elite hurting at the end of yahoo.com and don't forget to subscribe and that's it thanks for watching my tutorial see you next time